Okay, we finish assemble sprocket and uh, that's how it's supposed to be look like. So the goal is keep a uh, sprocket in the middle and make sure to get uh, as much less wobbles when a wheel spins. So it should be stay on the same surface when it's sprocket spins. So the next step, it's assembling uh, motor. Okay, just finished pre-assemble uh, motor, motor bracket to to the frame yeah well unfortunately it doesn't match see that two holes should be right in the middle of a tube same thing on the other side but uh, it didn't work out this time They do have a brackets to assemble it. It's right here. And they should be attached to the motor bracket. Well, uh, I use the Huffy, Huffy uh, Man Cruiser 26 inch wheels. And it looks like it's an older, older style frame, and uh, the bracket uh, didn't work for this frame. Well, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna match, match that hole with the tube, drill the hole, same thing here, drill the hole, and uh, put about one inch bolt, it should be like 10 inch size really important thing here make sure the chain make sure the chain line up perfectly you can see it right here let me show you this is really important that's why look okay that's why you have to play we have to play with this bracket. Uh, originally, manufacturer sent bracket with a 90 degree bend right in this area, and with a, that preset, it's gonna bring me too far away from a frame, and sprocket's gonna be not on the same line so what I have to do I have to just bend it more in and make more opening so here it's probably around 120 it's not 90 like that so unfortunately I, I, I don't think this is gonna work perfect with the whole setting but maybe another bike uh, that assemble that bracket's gonna be perfectly matched and do the one flat aligned with the with the sprocket wheel sprocket and, and the motor sprocket but uh, it didn't work out from for my bike so that's what I this is what I find out so yeah well like I said I'm going I'm gonna have this setting keep because it's perfect I mean the only way I can do here just use that knot drill the hole drill the hole and use the bolts well if I'm gonna need to adjust the tension I guess I'm gonna widen this hole later but for now it's perfect tension it works fine I can show you one more time Now it's going to come out, I can do it with more speed. 
right? Good thing they supply this motor with a flywheel. You cannot see it here. This is a really good thing to have this. So you can paddle it easy because if you don't have that you're gonna struggle with the motor because gearbox together with the motor assembly and it's gonna be hard to, to, to pedal the bike. So the flywheel it definitely helps. Alright so far that's all I have. Okay, yeah, I'm finished. That's how it looks like after I changed the setting. So, no brackets, just a straight bolt, 10 millimeter. That's so each side. And here, that's the only thing you have left from manufacture. And it works fine. Here we go. Get back to bicycle <clears throat> with a uh, electric motor 500 watts 36 volts so that's the finished I finished it already so what I what I decided to do use the large battery case 20 I think it's a, a car size battery 24 size or a little smaller and inside the battery case it's a three <coughs> three batteries uh, 20 uh, 12 volts and uh, 20 amps by hour size so we got 36 volts together connect series and uh, each battery is 20 amps by hour capacity so <coughs> um, I put it in the front because I'm gonna need the space in the back for the trunk a uh, little heavy on the front but it uh, runs good uh, you can see this on the video so we still be able to paddle it and there is a flywheel right there it stops anytime when you uh, drop the speed or anytime you start slows down and the motor doesn't turn by uh, rear wheel so uh, it's basically like a, a regular sports bike with a, a three or four speeds there's a cable heavy duty because amperage not much like 16 amps maybe a little more still you know, just to be sure there is the wire goes inside and inside the box uh, controller for four five hundred watts 36 volt and uh, how you can adjust the speeds just uh, same as like in a regular uh, motorcycle uh, what else we have indicator battery indicator it's a fully charge and uh, keys you can turn it off pull the keys out this way it's, nobody can use it but you know it's kind of useless but 
it's okay. We have it. So what else? Um, battery charger. I got uh, 36 volts, but it's a little more output, 44 and a half volts output, and about 1.6 amp. So what I did, I made a connection, made a port to connect charger right in front, right here, goes right in. Output. It's a it's a female connector with a three pins inside, and use only two, uh, one for plus, one for minus. And I'll show you real quick.